Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. As far as we receive a new jailbreak, and I'm talking here about the Uncover and the Chimera jailbreak, starting from iOS 11 up to 12.2. So let's go ahead and talking about some tweaks for that new jailbreak. Before I'm going to be start today's video, let me ask you guys to give the video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you will be notified always whenever I release a tweaks video. Okay, so let's go ahead right now to talk about the first week that I have for you guys in today's video, which is I will be talking about the color my dog. So first of all, if I want to show you guys how is that going to be, it looks like it's really beautiful if you want to bring any kind of color that you like to bring in your dog with that week right there. So if I want to jump right now under the settings, I'm talking about most of the things here. So let's take a look what we have here. So first thing, go ahead and enable the tweet you can hear this is the magic right there so color my tag there so it's simply just go ahead and top and any one of the color you can pick it up from there so simply go ahead and choose your color from there once you set the color go ahead and just stop on select right there also there is another option here in the bottom if you want to take a look at it the dark color for the current wallpaper if you want to toggle that go ahead you can do that and once you're done from everything you might see right now here you need to tap on the apply all the changes so your device will be take most the effect that you work on it under the settings so this is what the pretty much what the tweak will be provide you with which is i highly recommend you guys to give it a try so yeah guys if you want to take a look at it the tweak called color my doc let me go ahead right now to talking about the second one helios 11 that will be bring a beautiful and nice media control for your lock screen but first of all let me show you guys how is that will be looks like so if you want to take a look right now how is it looks like in your lock screen which is will be bring a nice effect and even nice control and then you can control most of the things from your lock screen even the way of the looking on your lock screen really beautiful now let me go ahead and just jump under the setting to see what we have here so first of all go ahead and enable the tweak and the second thing if you want to enable the background at work you can toggle that from there so this is the way how is that tweak will be work once you install it in your iDevice highly recommend you guys to give it a try because really it's beautiful and it's better than the other media control that I uh, download already on my iDevice so if you want to give it a try Hill is 11. The next CD tweak, I will be talking about the CC view charge and what is that week will be provide you with. So once you plug your iDevice on a charge, once you open your control center, you will be see the charge or your device is uncharged yet. It will notify you once you open your control center. If I want to demonstrate that and showing you guys what I'm talking about here. So if I want to launch my control center right now, if I want to plug my device and I want to charge my device, you will be see it says your device it's charging so if i want to unplug my device right now you will be see it will notify me and tell me it's not charging so this is the way about the ccpu charge once you want to add that tweak into your i device so as I told you guys and as I show you guys about the CC view charge, this is the way about that week once you want to install it in your iDevice. So yeah, if you want to, to download this week in your iDevice, the week called CC view charge. All right, let me go ahead right now to talking about the next one, the windmill. And what is that week will be provide you with? The windmill will be bring the iOS toolbar. So as you might see right now here, this is the almost a lot of things that bar will be uh, provide you once you install that week in your iDevice. If I want to go ahead right now and show you guys how is that bar will be looks like and also there is some customized stuff under the settings which is I'm about to show you guys in a second but first of all let me just talk in here about most of the things so this is the home button here and this is the switcher and even you can make those uh, any color you like so you can use the uh, light color the uh, the black mode color and also you can make it big you can make it smaller the way you like 
So if we go ahead right now and jump under the settings, you might see right now here, we have a lot of different things here under the settings. So first we'll go ahead and enable the tweak. And also we have the home gestures, you can toggle that. And also if you want to use the uh, touch or no force touch, you can go ahead and toggle that. In my opinion, I like to use the micro bar that's why I already toggled that. And if you want to hide the switcher button, if you want to hit in that or hide the back, or you can swap button here. So most of the things here you might see, you can toggle those so you can hide those, you can bring those the way you like if you bring most of the things on the bar. And also too many other stuff. If you want to go through, just make sure once you're done from all those configuration, go ahead and just respring your device. So your device will be take the effect and this is the way about that week. So as I show you guys, it's really beautiful and nice tweak. If you want to set that tweak in your iDevice, go ahead and give it a try the windmill. Let me talk about the next one here, the Minimal S. This is a widget which is I use on my lock screen, but for this one, in order, if you want to set this one in your iDevice, you need to have the X and HTML. So once you download the Minimal S in your iDevice, go ahead and use the X and HTML to set that on your lock screen. So basically, it's a time, and I'm about to show you guys right now how is that gonna be looks like. It's tiny and small and even even the font looks different it wasn't like the apple stock but i really like it and that's why i want to share this one with you guys so as i told you guys about the minimal s it's really nice a widget if you want to bring that into your iDevice so that's why i want to share that week with you guys if you want to go ahead and get the minimal s the shooter and what is that week will be provide you with it will be bring a lot of and good customize and options into your camera application but first of all, let me just demonstrate that and showing you guys once you want to launch your camera application, how is that will be looks like. So first of all, you will be disable all the bars, the black bars or the gap from the top and you will be see the camera will be work from edge to edge. Also, if you want to hide most the items from the camera, you can do that even the thumbnail. So let's jump right now under the settings to talk about most of the things there. So there you go, we are right now under the settings and you might see we have a lot of different options here. So one of the options, as I told you, if you want to hide or toggle the live photos, even if you want to hide the thumbnail, as I show you guys, and most the other stuff, if you want to toggle those, you want to bring back or hide the gap or the black bars on the uh, camera roll, you can do that, clear all the bars, clean the shooter bun from the bottom it's a lot of different kind of stuff as you might can see right now here a lot of different kind of options so you can go through all of those it's a nice and cool tweak uh, for me in my opinion once i hide most the black bars or the gap from the top it will give me a much space on my device to can see most the things or the picture that i want to take anyway if you want to give it a try shooter the next CD tweak I will be talking about the X though and what is that tweak will be provide you once you install it in your iDevice it will be bring a nice effect once you want to launch any one of the folders that you have on your iDevice. If I want to show you guys how that will be looks like if I want to launch my uh, the folder that I have right now, you might see right now most of the icons that I have, it comes in a different kind of way. And even you can adjust that, you can play with the options from under the settings. And here we go right now, we are under the settings. As you might see right now, we have different kind of toggles here. So if you want to show the notification glowing on the folder, you can toggle that from near. Even you can toggle the limit icons from near. So you can toggle that. And here we have three different kind of sliders here. So you can adjust the way of the folder once you want to touch it and the way of the layout for your icons. So this is the way of that we just make sure once you play with the all the options make sure after you're done go ahead and respring your device so your device will be take the effect and this is the way about the exo once you want to install it in your iDevice. 
So as I show you guys and as the way that I show you how is that tweak will be working your iDevice, really beautiful, highly recommend you guys to install it in your device, really beautiful and nice looking for your folder, go ahead and download Exto iOS 11. Let me jump right now to talking about the next CD tweak here. Let me talking about the no CC Blur 11 or XI. So once you install that tweak on your iDevice, that tweak will be giving you an options to customize most of the things on your control center. Of course, we will be do that and I'm going to be showing you the way how you can do that from under the settings. So here we are right now under the settings and you might see we have different kind of toggles here so you can adjust those you can play around with all those options here for your control center. So you might see here you can hide you can disable most the items or the stuff on your control center for example if you want to hide the status bar you can hide most the blur you can hide the header lines you can hide the uh, the gap and most the other things things on your control center make sure if you want to after you configure most of the things go ahead and resupring your device so your device will be take the effect and apply most of the changes and this is the way how is that week will be work from under the settings if i want to show you guys how is the uh, control center will be looks like so it will be pretty much clean after you hide most the stuff from uh, your control center and this is the way about that tweak so as i show you guys what is that tweak will be provide you with and bring a lot of different kind of options you can use those to hide most the stuff on your control center go ahead and give it a try if you want to know cc blur 11 next see that week let me talking about the new grid switcher this is really a nice switcher if you want to set that on your i device if i want to show you guys the layout or the new option how you can launch your switcher this is the way how is that will be looks like even you can see most of the things on your switcher even you can just swap to kill any one of these pages from your i device so once you download the tweak, the tweak doesn't have anything to configure. Once you download the tweak, the tweak will be work right away on your iDevice. And this is the way of that tweak once you install it in your iDevice. I highly recommend you guys to give it a try because it's really beautiful and nice tweak. Go ahead and try new grid switcher. The next CD tweak, let me jump right now to talking about another beautiful and nice tweak, cool CC or cool control center. So once you download the tweak, that tweak will be uh, bring a nice and a beautiful style of control center into your iDevice. So I want to show you guys how is that going to be looks like. It's really beautiful and you can see right now, even if you want to launch your media, uh, your videos, most of the toggles, uh, beautiful style if you want to download that tweak on your iDevice. So once you download the tweak, that tweak doesn't have anything to configure. Once you download the tweak, the tweak will be change most of the things on your control center and this is how your control center will be looks like after you download the tweak into your iDevice. So as I show you guys, this is how is the tweak or the cool CC work in your iDevice. Highly recommend you guys to download that tweak. It's really beautiful, especially for your control center. Go ahead and give it a try. Cool CC or the cool control center. So there you go, guys. This is the most tweaks that I have for you guys in today's video. This is the most tweak that I want to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, just make sure once again, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new tweaks video. Catch you with the next one. Peace.